Hey guys, what's up? It's me again. Got breaking news for you. It seems that monkeypox is a very special thing. People have data on it, but you're not allowed to use the data because you make the LGBTQ look bad. As for monkeypox, I, I think there's a pretty good rule in life. Uh, don't attend gay orgies. Uh, when you look at the New England Journal's report of the five hundred and forty orgies that viewed, <laughs> Ned, come on, man. It's not what? about gay. How about no, not absolutely. any orgies? Go look at. Go look at the New England Journal's report that NBC News reported on, on Friday, in which of the 528 cases they reviewed, 95% were between sex between men. Yeah, I think we actually have to have a serious is, conversation about where this is coming from. Totally when I'm done, Brad, you can talk. Instead Ooh. of going crazy and declaring a national pandemic when 3,000 people have it right now, it's insane. Yeah. I don't know, man. You don't have to be gay to get monkeypox, and uh, you don't have to be bigoted when you talk about treating something that is that easily spread. Bigoted? Right? You already have... Co you, it spreads through contact. So the idea that you can get it at one of those parties, which is a high chance you might get it, hey, man, maybe it's something that you have to avoid. Maybe. A bigot. Yeah, it is. This, this is science, Kennedy. 95% yeah. of the cases from the New right, England I'm, Journal you know what? I'm gonna let Brad have been reported. Respond. Okay, I'm going to let Brad respond because, Brad, we had 372 doses. The United States, in Denmark, where the, the smallpox, monkeypox vaccine is manufactured, they were ready to go, but uh, because this has been an issue for more men in the gay community it seems like it has been lower on the priority list I and mean, that was normal a long time ago nobody cares about men just because you like men they're gonna be like hey man let's treat well actually they do treat them better but you want more for a disease that we don't know if it's so dangerous but it does spread though which is interesting brad yeah, look, Ned is right when he says that monkeypox right now is mostly affecting gay men. The problem mm. is that public health-wise, not going to orgies in general is a good policy to not get sexually transmitted diseases. 100%. Yeah, but monkeypox is spreading through only gay people, usually the most, at least what they're saying. But it does spread to women. It does spread to kids which are in close proximity to gay. So I don't think it should be seen as a bad thing if you're going to be like, hey... Because we don't want herd immunity with COVID. But suddenly you don't mind herd immunity with the monkeypox? Hmm. That's kind of weird. And so we have to be really careful. We saw with the AIDS crisis, with the HIV crisis, about how certain communities or certain gay people will be stigmatized yeah. over something that lots of people do. And we got to be careful about that. And that kind of, I will use the term, bigoted language that makes it seem like the only people that get this are from one group of Americans. Hey, guess what? Gay men also have friends and family members and colleagues. And this is not just transmitted through sexual activity. It's transmitted through close contact. So... You don't fight diseases. I'm glad Brad brought up HIV AIDS. You don't fight diseases by caricaturing the people who get them or who get them at one point in time. Why can I not fight a disease by having a different opinion about it, by the consequence it might have? If I see somebody get a disease, right, and he becomes really sick and he has to go to the hospital, that is going to be imprinted in my head. If I know for some odd reason, maybe culture-wise, gene-wise, or maybe the type of sexes that are doing something together, there is a higher probability that you might have that, I'm going to think that. So for me, anybody now, just because this disease exists, I'm going to be like, far away. Why? Well, you might have a gay friend. I don't have. Just in case, you might have rubbed into him. I'm going to treat everybody like, oh my God, you're a disease. Do you think that's right? No, of course not. But by your logic, you're like, yeah, we want herd immunity. Mm. You didn't think that about the other one? Well, because the one has a high probability to kill you. Yeah, if you have a probability to get it, and I might get it to my kids, I want to give it. And the fact that you're so defensive just because it's from the LGBTQ, oh, and we're going to get stigmatized. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't be so defensive about being worried that you're going to be stigmatized because the way you're thinking is that's how they think about men and the fact that they went after him which i don't think the comment was actually proper he should have just says all men that are very active sexually we should be defensive about it but i'm sure that panel will find a way to turn it around because they can joke about it and they're always the victim look 
Church Open Society Foundation employees brags about having sex with multiple men at Pride event, then blames the government after catching monkeypox or in gonorrhea. I'm like, what? I'm like, pick and choose your battle. What do you want us to do? How do you want us to see you? If the percentage is high in people, gay, bi, to have that, I want to avoid all skin contact. I have a bunch of friends that have gay friends. I'm going to be like, hmm, do I need to wash my hand just in case? Because I need to do it in secret now because I might offend you. It's like, it, it, it's just so surprising that you care more about the image, about the stigmatization, than the probability that your friends or your environment or your culture might infect other people. Which one is more important? Because if it was a... Thing that everybody was getting oh we don't mind we need to block everybody by the beam but the boom it's dangerous put the mask on by the beam but the boom oh it happens only in this group you don't have to think like that you're a bigoted i'm like okay man okay life is good but breaking news breaking news i know got you guys top-notch stories but like share hit the bell notification let me know what you guys think and see you guys next time peace